It's been nearly a week since a shooting at a Madisonville park sent five people to the hospital and Cincinnati police have not arrested any suspects in that case. Now the department is asking residents to help find people responsible and Chancellor Wynn has a closer look. We are here at the Madisonville Recreation Center because on Thursday night during the community council meeting, Cincinnati police officers spent quite a bit of time speaking with residents, asking them for more information about the shooting that happened at Bramble Park this past Saturday. Now, officers are hoping that with these new details, it could lead to an arrest in this shooting. Unfortunately, I have received zero tips from crime stoppers. That is the Cincinnati police's lead investigator who's looking into the shooting that happened Saturday evening at Bramble Park in Madisonville. The shooting sent five people to the hospital, one of them critically injured. Right now we know a lot, but it, there's not enough information right now or uh, evidence to actually sign charges on, on any individual that was involved in the shooting. CPD says they believe the shooting stems from an ongoing disagreement between two people. They also say that more than one person fired shots Saturday night. We don't have an exact number on that. We are working to develop evidence through the shell casings. I believe this was targeted. Um, we believe they knew each other, the individuals involved that were the main instigators of this event. Um, and we're working to identify exactly what role each person had. A few hours after the Bramble Park shooting, CPD says more shots were fired in the parking lot of the Madisonville Recreation Center. I was going to ask if we knew those were related instances, if the, if the cut moved from Bramble up here to the rec center. It will take time to make that determination. Um, it's certainly possible, but we don't know yet. And that's where the help from the community comes into play. CPD says more than 300 people were at Bramble Park at the time of the shooting, and now police need witnesses to come forward with details that could lead to an arrest. People don't have to identify themselves. They can remain anonymous and still contribute to giving information. If, you know, certainly the offenders understand that, you're not above getting caught. Um, I think that that would be the message of we're not going to stand for it. Now, if you were at Bramble Park at the time of the shooting and you simply need someone to talk to, grief counselors will be available today from 1030 in the morning until one o'clock in the afternoon at the Madisonville Library. And if you have any information at all about that shooting at Bramble Park, simply contact Cincinnati Police. And again, you can remain anonymous. But for now, reporting in Madisonville with photojournalist Philip Krinsky, I'm Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now.